Sam Altman says a one-person billion-dollar company is coming soon, and honestly, it's not as crazy as it sounds. With AI agents replacing entire departments and working 24-7, the standard startup playbook of raising millions, hiring big teams, and scaling later is over. Hi everyone, let's create a basic motion graphics explainer video. So in the start, as you can see, this white or off-white background was there, and then this comes up so first I'm going to bring in a solid make it off white something like this like okay now to create this frame what I'm going to do is basically first I'll bring in my image of Sam Altman okay and as you can see it's a bit black and white so what I'm going to do is head on to effects and presets loop on tint and put it on this Okay, to get this black and white effect okay now to add the green which is i think this person's brand colors so to do that simply i'm just going to select this square okay rectangle tool and then select film select this color okay now i'm going to put it behind the image and something like this make sure to select both of them and i'll let ctrl shift c to pre-compose this player now as you can see comes up and then this is also there so what i'm going to do put this at the center then at the start hit e for position keyframe go ahead one second and click on the position keyframe go to the start sorry go to the end and then drag this up select this at 9 and then drag this and make it a mountain okay for this smooth animation what i'm going to do is when this you know goes up okay this comes from behind so let's make that first select get time mode, sorry uh air ellipse tool and make this circle then i'm going to bring in my image of this person okay put it over here also put the dim defect on it okay to make it black and white then what i'm going to do is get this toggle which is mode track mat the person image with the shape layer okay and enable this eye icon so what we have done is we had enabled the alpha mat okay so when this person is inside the circle it will show but when it's outside it will be invisible now what i'm going to do is select this okay and pan it and link it with the shape layer for the both of them put it below this sam alternate so what happens is let's select this p for position keyframe go ahead one second and then drag this down like this at nine and then do the same animation by making a mountain as you can see we have got the starting and this thing is left so we can do that also easily right click x okay now i'm going to hit the dollar icon on my keyboard put it over here make it oblique and select the same color as this hit s to make it smaller now for this as you can see it's fading in word by word so what i'm going to do is simply open text beside that hit on animate blur okay now increase the blur to something like this and keyframe it and go ahead now open range selector and then make the start 100 and 0 click on the end keyframe go ahead again click on here and increase this f9 now we have got that blur text animation now for the next part as you can see this whole thing will come down and then coming soon text will come okay 
so let's do that and select this and pan and turn link it with our shape layer again and then after this text comes simply i'll select this hit p again on this position keyframe overhead drag this down and then the text will come so i'll new text right here coming soon and as you can see typewriter animation is there so simply just select this head on to effects and presets this you know inbuilt animation is there in after effects already in so what we are going to do is head on to presets text animate in and then select this typewriter and put it here so you'll get this and from here as you can see it goes to the right okay and then this text is there it's not as crazy as it sounds so to do that now i'll make everything 3d except the white solid right click bring in a camera hit ok right click again and bring in a null object let's rename this to cam control and make it 3d now connect the camera to the cam control after this just simply i'll hit on this cam control hit p for position go to the right and track this to the left f9 and then make come out and again then we are going to do this animation this red balls okay and with the text it's not as crazy as it sounds so simply just right click new and sorry head on to this ellipse tool make this something like this red make a circle okay just make it 3d bring it here so as you can see in the reference video everything is coming from this side so we need to bring them here okay and when it goes this side we we'll start animating so simply hit p for position keyframe go ahead bring it here then again go ahead bring it here again go ahead and bring it here now we have to make it in a circle so i'm just going to select that pen tool select these points and make them like circle So as you can see it is going in a circle. Now I select this, hit alt and drag them. Okay, to give them more space between the keyframes. Okay. Now to continue this animation, what I'm going to do is basically copy these last three keyframes and paste them. Okay? So we we'll get this animation. Okay. Now to make it more dynamic, just hit P, click Alt, hold Alt, and click on this position keyframe. And then to open expressions and right here, wizard. Inside the bracket, write to comma hit P. And then as you can see. We'll take this animation okay simple as that as it doesn't show here and also hit t for opening opacity keyframe click on opacity keyframe go ahead again click here make it zero at the start okay now i'm just going to hit ctrl d to copy this circle put it a bit forward okay then i'll just you know make changes to this a bit okay so it appears random okay 
So now I'm going to fast forward this section where I'll just make copies and make changes a bit to the path of this circle to make them appear random. Now for the text part, it's not as busy as it sounds and then everything goes down. So I'll just go here and type the text. I'm just doing random fonts, so make sure you use proper fonts, okay? Again, this is coming in typewriter animation, so I'll just, you know, put the typewriter animation over here and then from here I'll bring the whole thing down so to do that I'm just going to select all these circles and then parent and link it with our text select the text layer hit T for position go ahead and drag them down select them F9 make sure to add you know motion blur to the circles okay and then after that we can you know make this so this is easy so to make that first we are going to use our circle okay so select this okay make our circle then i have to go into control d to make another circle and make it white and then make it small and then hit Ctrl D to make another circle, put it below it and hit S and increase the size of it. Okay, now I'm just going to select this pen tool. Okay, hit this tool creates mask and then create a mask over here. Okay, so with this we have got this human shape okay just going to reduce the size of the head okay now as you can see in the video this first human shape is there sorry this white is there and then this robot comes okay also I'm going to add stroke to this as it is there in the reference make it black or off black hit ok reduce the you know, thickness Melt it to one. Yeah. Now I'm going to select these. Okay. Person. And then hit Control Shift C. Let's name it to white person. Hit OK. Bring the anchor point by holding Y. And bring it to the center. Okay. Now we have got this. Connect the parent link the white person to our shape layer. Okay. Now I'll just move my shape layer to move the whole thing all together and place it over here. Okay, let's make this a bit bigger. Now I'm going to make the flowchart lines. Okay. Make it at the top. Then select the pen tool. Delete the fill and make sure only stroke is there. Let's increase the stroke. Okay, after making this, we just have to add, you know, three more. So, I'm just going to hit Ctrl D on the shape layer, bring it over here, make it smaller. Again, bring it here, hit Ctrl D again, then bring it here. Okay, now I'm just going to copy this white person, hit Ctrl D, bring it here. Okay, now we have to link them with their circles. So, this one will be linked to shape 12, this one will be linked to shape 13, and this one to 
40 okay first this whole thing comes from above okay so we will do that too okay not a problem but first let's complete this animation simply after you know this comes down it will go down okay so i'll just select all the white person hit down toggle switches mode and connect track market to our shape 8 and then enable the eye icon and again track mount this to our shape 12 enable eye icon and do the same then over here you have to simply just select all this hit key for position go ahead and drag them down so it goes out of the circle select this f9 drag this towards the left okay now simply move this ahead one by one so they happen at different times now i'll go and bring in my robot png okay take s make it small put it here okay okay now as soon as this goes down this will come up okay but to do that again you have to you know mat it so again we'll do the same thing select this again mat it with our 8 okay 12 13 and then lastly 14 okay so when this goes down we simply have to select these all so equal position go ahead and then again hit position keyframe go to the start we have to bring them down select this f9 now to bring this whole scene up and introduce a new null object and right here scene view and then just basically connect them okay so So as you can see this whole thing is moving so what i have done basically is parent linked these lines these shapes to our null okay so what happens is first we have to keep it up so when we're going to drag this whole thing up and out of the frame okay and after this when this scene goes down okay somewhere here and just going to it be for position go ahead and then bring this down select the whole thing at 9 then now let's see the animation okay now for the next part okay this last animation is for you to do okay it's very simple and easy okay all the techniques which i used up until now is used in this animation so hope you are able to create it if you have any doubts leave it in the comments see you in the next video